Good afternoon, said the doctor, as the patient entered the room. There was a person with him. I hope you don't mind, said the doctor. I have a student doctor with me. He is observing what I do for the day. That's perfectly fine, the patient said. We all have to start somewhere. What's the problem, asked the doctor. It's these headaches, said the patient. They're still going on. I've taken every painkiller under the sun, but it's still tiring and very painful. I'm getting to a point where it'd be easier to chop my head off. You all have a little chuckle before the doctor asks the patient to kneel by his desk. Let's just move your head here. The doctor then places the head on the desk. Then, all of a sudden, the doctor grabs an axe. In one swift swoop, he has gone right through the neck of the patient. His head is rolling around the floor. What have you done? asked the student doctor. It's perfectly obvious what I have done. I chopped his head off, replied the doctor. Why? Why on earth would you chop his head off? Because he had a headache, replied the doctor. He wanted me to chop it off, so I chopped it off. But he was joking, replied the student doctor. If I may say so, asking to have your head chopped off is not exactly a laughing matter. Why would he joke? Oh my word, I think you're insane. How many patients have you killed? Just three, replied the doctor. Just three? That's right, said the doctor. That's only the third patient that hasn't made it home. I think that's a pretty good record in 17 years of practice. The door opens. It is Mrs. Abbey, the receptionist. She can see the head on the floor. Headache, sir? asked the receptionist. Yes. Fortunately, his headache is gone, replied the doctor. It must have been bad, said Mrs. Abbey. That's only your third. The student doctor has seen it all. He cannot believe what he has witnessed. And he doesn't know what to do now. I'm going to the police, said the student doctor. Good for you, said the doctor. If any of them have a headache, they know where to come.